guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a very exciting video for me. I, you guys may not know, or you guys don't know, because I didn't actually tell you guys any of them, but one of my New Year's resolutions is to, or was to, update my filming software or filming equipment. Now I'm currently filming on a Canon EOS 1100D and I've been filming on this ever since I started YouTube so and I got over the years I got a tripod because I needed that to film on and then I got a circle light to film my um, first impressions on like the foundations because I needed the light for the night time and but actually I just film with natural light normally so I'm like my circle light doesn't get that much use, but I did get I did get the Canon 1100D for like a graduation present, and then the tripod I bought myself, and the circle light I got for either Christmas or birthday one year, and I was really excited for it. And so I didn't guys I didn't show you guys what I got for Christmas. Which was a couple months ago, I'm not gonna lie. But I got a road mic. And I've been wanting one of these for ages. Yes, I took it out of the box, but I left it in its packaging. Um, now, this mic does not actually fit into my camera that I'm filming on. So, and I really wanted to use this. And I have been thinking about updating my camera for about a year and a bit now so because th this one that I film on doesn't have like a flip out screen and I need my computer to film on and everything so I can see myself because if I couldn't see myself then I would think I'd be like out here and I'd be talking to you guys and I'm like that's not good so I decided to buy a new camera. I haven't actually tried it yet to see if this actually fits in, but I did ask the guy and he, he said, yes, it will. So, I've kept the bag and everything that it came in because I've been really excited for it. So I got this from Camera House uh, here in Australia. I'm not sure if it's a worldwide wide thing. But the closest one to me is, I think, Chamsai, which is where I got this from. We'll just take it out of the thing. So I got this. Well, that's not good. <laughs> Showing you the back. Now, I got this camera. It is the Canon EOS 750D. Now, it was either between the 750 or the 700. Now, I think they're about a hundred dollar difference. And I decided to go for the 750 just because everything that the guy said about it made this one seem that much, that bit more exciting. And I don't know, I was really excited for it. And I had saved up money for from Christmas, so from like my working at Christmas time, so I went and brought it. Really excited. Now, at the time I wasn't going planning on buying like a new lens or anything, but I did because the guy said that it this because this one this camera here it auto focuses. Uh, whereas the other one doesn't, so I needed a cam like a lens that didn't squeak as much as the other ones would with this one. So I got a new lens. It was only hundred dollars, so it wasn't that much. That was it wasn't that bit big of a deal. So I'm just gonna open it. I'd really like to show you see this. There we go. Keep you up here. It's not really that great. Okay, so this cam, this at the top here, 
it comes with all these things inside up the top but comes with a little instruction booklet now I have had this just sitting around for a few months now so I haven't or a few weeks now so I haven't actually even opened this yet so I'm just really excited to film this for you guys so this is just all the instructions it has a little disc don't know what that is manufacturer's warranty need that and that's all that's up the top there as you open that you see all of this wonderful stuff inside so I'll start on this side because I know this is the camera here because it's a big thing so at the top we've got the little what do you call it like a lead thing so you put it around your neck when you've got the camera so you don't have to always hold the camera and if like you film if you're like taking photos out in public and it's around your neck burglars can't actually can't take the camera if that makes sense so it's a lot safer and yeah I have one of these with my one that I already have just do it like that it's really cool And then we've got the power cord with our lovely angled Australian plug and that is to charge this which I assume yep, is the battery thing so you put the little battery in here it's the same like as this camera but this camera has a bigger battery which I've just noticed no so the new one here's a it's a got, so the newer battery is smaller. Where is the battery? There it is. So this is the battery. And the other one's like just a little bit bigger. And then this is a little cord that connects the camera to like a USB port. Like but I have like one of those now. It's about the same size. Um, which connects this camera to my computer, which has my viewfinder in it. Now we're left to the two big parts. The first one is a lens and it is the 18 to 55 millimeter so it focuses in and out. Kind of cool. Comes in bubble wrap and everything. Uh, that's the same lens that came with my 1100D and as well as like a different lens also. It came with two lenses, my 1100D. So yeah, but I don't use those, either of those lenses anymore. I use the 50mm lens. And then the last thing in this box, it looks empty, is the camera. So exciting! So here it is. It's a different material, like a different feeling than the other one, because the other one's very smooth. Whereas this one has, basically it's got things where you can hold it flip out screen if I can flip it out flip it out turn it ooh it turns and then I can flip it back and look it's there I love it it's so amazing and then you can hide the screen so it doesn't get scratched it's got it's own little SD card holder whereas this one is in the same spot as the battery Where's the battery go? Ah, oh, yeah, duh, of course. The bottom here. Battery goes in there. I love this camera. It's so amazing. I love it. And then I can fit in it. Yes. Hallelujah. But I need that anyway. So yeah, I am extremely excited to start filming on this. The next, I think. It should be the next video you guys see will be filmed on this new camera so I'm really looking I'm really excited for it and actually I'm feeling if I go away at any point I will take it with me because just to film on it and take photos so yeah that is the main part of this video now I thought instead of just unboxing my new camera I would also 
show you guys a few things what I got recently from Mecca. So, and I've had all of these things out just waiting for me to film. It's so exciting. Okay, so I did a little online order at Mecca and they sent this lovely little box with it in. It's different to the one that I had at Christmas time, but I've already, I've already looked in here because I've already used one of these things. So the one, the theme that I have used is the Marco Badesinica skincare. I don't know. It looks like this. It's one of those ones, if you guys can see, it's got the pink stuff at the bottom and the clear liquid at the top. Stick a cotton tip in it, take it out, and you just put it on your blemishes. I've used it twice already. I'm not sure what I think. The first time it did, because I've got this massive blemish right here. The first time I used it, it did shrink it a little bit. Second time it wasn't so much because it's still there. I don't know what's going on, but yeah. But the reason I like to buy my things online at, on Mecca is because you get to choose three samples. And in store you don't get to do that. So I bought online. So I got two primers. One is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. Another one is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Correcting Primer. And another one, and then I got a foundation, which is the Hourglass Illumation? I don't know. It's a tinted foundation. Tinted moisturizer. Sorry. Right. And then I got all of this stuff. Now I did go up. I did go up in levels. So at Mecca they've got three different levels. A beauty loop and you have like a beauty loop card. You've got a beauty loop level one, two and three. So I was on one, now I'm on two, which is so exciting. So I got a Glam Glow mask. Now I love the Glam Glow masks. I don't use masks as much as I would like, but I heard raved reviews about this one, which is the Glam Glow Power Mud Dual Cleanse Treatment. So I got a little mini one of it. It was expensive for mini, it was like $27. But then the big one's like 98, so yeah. And then I got an Hourglass Ambient Strobe Lighting Powder. And this is in Incandescent Strobe Light. Now I've been wanting to get one of these for so long. I have the blushes, the powders, and now the strobing. I have always looked at getting the bronzers, but they're just... I'm not a huge bronzer person, like a orangey looking bronzer. I like my nice bronzers that I can also use to like contour my face so yeah so this is incandescent strobe light I love it I don't smell like anything it's small but then again you don't really need something massive and then I got I can't even open these things then I got a Stila palette and this is the eyes are uh, the window shadow palette and this is in mind. Now this is a different packet. I already have a Eyes Are The Window shadow palette. But mine is a different packaging. It's more like reflective. But I think I can't remember what that one is that I have. But this is all mattes. I love all of these colours. And when I first decided to get, I think it's Spirit I've got. It was either between Spirit or Mind. So I thought, why not? I might as well get Mind also. We'll see which one I use more. Sticking with Stila, I also got a Stila All Day Liquid Lipstick. And this is in Patina. I think that's what it is. And it's just like a nice mauve pinky colour. I love these colours. And I can't wait to see how it goes because I've actually heard re I heard really good things about it, like that it doesn't, it's not really drying or anything. So I really am looking forward to trying that one out. And now the rest of the things in here are from Too Faced. I love Too Faced. It's like my favorite makeup brand. So I got the Too Faced Hangover X primer, and I thought it's like a repren a. Rep 
replenishing face primer and I just thought it looked beautiful it's massive it's got a pump and I just thought it would be great for like if you've got dry skin or something we'll see how we go and then I got a Too Faced Love Flush blush and it is the long wearing long lasting 16 hour blushes I love these I have I think it's love hangover and then this one is in baby love so it's so adorable they are like in little hearts and I heard that the creator he's got his own YouTube channel but on his YouTube channel he said that he named them all after love songs or something so yeah I love this color doesn't smell like anything. I love the pa pattern on it. Can you guys see that? It's so adorable. And it's a nice nude colour. Like the one I already have, it's like a nudie pinky peachy colour. Whereas this one's just a straight like nude, like everyday colour. And the last two things I got are from the Too Faced Sweet Peaches range. Now I have I do have the Sweet Peaches palette already. I got it for Christmas. It's amazing. I love it. It's like my go-to eyeshadow palette. It's amazing. So I've I got a creamy peach oil lip gloss, and this is in Papa Don't Preach. No, it's Papa Don't Peach. I love the song Papa Don't Preach. So yeah, but this is like. The most nudiest, pinkiest one, and I love it when you open it. it. Smells of peaches, it's so delicious. I could legit eat this. And I love that all Too Faced products are like cruelty free and stuff, so it's amazing. And then I also got the Papa Don't Peach Peach Infused Blush. Love it. I got two Papa Don't Pre Peach things. I didn't even realize that. So it comes like this. This is apparently is like an old classic of theirs and it just looks like that the peach smell is so good yeah I just love that and it, it's like a nice nudie peach color so yeah that that is everything that I got from Mecca recently and my new camera I really can't wait to show you guys what it looks like and everything so yeah I will see you guys in my next video with my new camera. So yeah, um, if you guys like this video, please give a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel because it means so much to me when you guys do. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks guys.